So, in case, if you're wondering why I spoke Japanese a few seconds ago, well, it's because I recently had a voting poll for my Japanese report. And no, I won't be speaking Japanese the whole time like my Azumanga Daya report. However, just like the promo I made for this video, the subtitles it will contain of English, Japanese, Spanish, Korean, German, Chinese, and Thai. But if you don't see your subtitle in this video, there is always auto translate for every use of YouTube. So just like the opening for the video and the shirt that I'm wearing for this, Hello Project has won the voting spot and congratulations! Omedito! Omedito! Like my two part six anniversary mix up video, I will be explaining in good detail about these reports, but only for the second and first place. Speaking of which, here are the teams that I have for these votes, which is Hello Project that is in first place, Team Avix that is in third place, Girl Groups that are in second place, and our, our last selection that is ironically in the last place, the Boy Groups. So now let's start off with our winners, Hello Project. And also for this poll, I only got like one comment from it from Hello SM that says Hello Project is my all time favorite, so I had to choose it. <laughs> On that note, Team Hello Project and Girl Groups were really neck and neck on 50% when I saw the results. But since we only have one comment that went with this, it's just going to go to Hello Project. So they are not only just the winners, but the 100% vote of the first place. So let's first start off with my Mini Moni report, which became my second Japanese report. And the first one was Speed for a brief of my third Q&A special, the winter version. At the time for the making of my Mini Moni report, originally I wanted to release this report on the January the 17th because on that day of 2001, is where they released their first single called Jack and Pyong. However, I was sick during the makings of my third reflection montage special, so I had to postpone. But in the meantime, I did do a shout out special that now has 100 views while also doing a poll if for this upcoming report, if I should speak in English or in Japanese the whole time. Just like the Mini Money report, the results said that I should speak both in Japanese and English. While during this time, CBI was closing right around the same time I was doing this report. During this time would now be a year since I went back to Full Cell again for recording art. And I previously graduated from film in May of 2020. So it took me around two to four weeks of recording myself during this second report and two days of editing. Oh, you heard right. I spent two days awake editing for the Mini Money video. Since the goal was to finish this video on the International Women's Day and the K-pop artist known as Boa became part of this too. Not just because there's a video of them on a music show where both her and Mika from Mini Money were speaking Japanese to each other, but also around that time, this is where she released her chronologically second album, Jumping Into the World, on that day of 2001, of International Women's Day. Unfortunately, I missed the deadline since 
not only I got tired from editing, but I was really feeling those hours that took me to edit that video too. That's why I often when I tell this report to my friends and family, I often say, if you thought the video was too long, my editing game was just as long as the report itself. This would have been my third longest video that I've worked on around that time since my last two were the report for the Thailand Duo Raptor and my Russian report. But, you know, it wouldn't be the last, but also around that same time, it paid off too. Since now, every other year of an International Women's Day comes by, I will always have that Meanie Money report on standby. Well, also I had three other reports around for this time too, but those stories will be saved for another video day. Overall, I did have lots of fun editing and filming my second Japanese report. This was even how I started the report of speaking in English and talking about how I first listened to them in Japanese. Well, now we're going to move on to the second and third people on this list of Chinatsu Miyoshi and my TNC Bombard report. They're on the same topic, not just because they're both from Hello Project while also debuting in the same year of 1999, but when I released these videos, it was also on the same day too. For the Shinatsu Miyoshi 10th report, I didn't really have information at the time, especially since I was just finishing up the TNC Bumbar report. But the thing I really wanted to do was just to have my fourth episode of the podcast be very super special. And for the TNC Bumbar report, it was my eighth one. This is the report where... I first added some of their like audio from their songs onto the report and to the start of the next chapter of that video while also learning how to reverse, flip, crop, and even add a filter for their videos to avoid copyright strike. On that note, it was just celebrated their 25th anniversary. With that in mind, I have finally found that episode where all the members of TNC went to go to four different states in America to help them with their singing and dancing on the television auditioning show called Asian. I also used the opening and closing songs from the chapters from the Taiwanese group SHE. These two videos were released on the 20th anniversary of Mini Moni's second single called Telephone goes ring, ring, ring. Speaking of recent celebration, my last Hello Project report was Barry's Kobo that I released that video on September the 12th as well. And happy 20th anniversary to the Barry's Factory Workshop, aka Barry's Kobo. For this report was the very first time that I was getting to add Barry's song, but I had to add them in a different tone and speed so I could not get copyright strike. While also for that video, I was pretending that I was working for their company for this video report as well. I also was setting up a fake press release for a meeting for this video. That's why that you could see everyone clapping from the beginning to the end of the video while asking questions around the same time too. And you know, for that note, I want to thank everyone that could collaborate with me for that video from two years ago. Well, in that video, it became my 18th video report, which was their anniversary of Barry's Kobo. While in that video, I was giving my tr tribute to Kazuki Takashi from the makers of Yu-Gi-Oh! and the comedian Teddy Ray. Last thing I want to mention here is that this would be around the same time while I was doing this Barry's report, I was finishing up the Q&A special for my 21st podcast episode and the internet shutting down part four. Now we're going to talk about 
our third choice, which became second place of 50%, girl group. One group I didn't add that I'd done a report before but was mentioned is perfume. Also on that note, before we begin the story of this, everyone's dates of celebration have changed except for Puffy, aka Puffy Amiyumi. This time around, I'm going to go in chronological order. So on that note, we're going to start off with Shonen Knife, aka Boy's Knife. This was the sixth report that I finished right after the Puffy report, which that is going to come up soon. This video would definitely be a good tribute to Nirvana's Kurt Cobain. And this was actually the very first Japanese artist group I ever know. This is literally like this year would mark the 20th anniversary when I first listened to Shonen Knife. With that, I will now declare the July the 12th of their 43rd anniversary. The second musical group that is on this list is Puffy, where they have became the second Japanese group I've listened to, especially since I saw their show on Cartoon Network, and their 28th anniversary will be celebrated on July the 22nd for their first album release. Yes, this is the this, this same day. That's the that's that same day there. Last group on this list is the 16th report of Color and Busy. And this was the time of their 25th anniversary. We'll be now on the July the 28th, which was when their first single originally came out for Double and Nothing. And this was my second Japanese report in the last location I was living in for Florida for uh, college. This report was on the 80th video special Around that time, I was releasing another podcast episode with the manga artist Chris Byrne. And during this time of that pose and even the celebration, Mayumi and Yurisa from Color Plus Busy really liked this video as well. And, you know, maybe soon I might do an interview with them. And lastly, I've added perfume to this list since I couldn't find any other report to match my report and plus they were both training around the same time as well now our next topic is we're going to move to our second to last team of team avix which they have been placed of third place of 30 percent votes so here is the report in another different part so here we go so from the first thing that we have for ta vix is moonchild I was making this video back when I did the Q&A for my first anniversary podcast special and even just a little Q&A with me for my fourth anniversary with uh, the up and coming artist Downheart. Their music to me will always sound like a bit of buttery jazz. And I think the funniest part from this video is where I thought they were going to come to America, to Louisiana, nine years ago to perform with the band Our Future called The Internet, but it was an indie band at the same time. And also, I was also explaining this scene in Japanese as well. Lastly, the can I was drinking was literally called Tai Chi Tea, and it really tastes like an enriched and better version of chocolate milk. Next up, is my 20th report of Pool Bit Boys, aka PB2. This was during my fifth winter holiday special for this YouTube channel. And I've also learned that another group called Black Biscuits debuted their first single at the same time as PB2. So that was even why I did their video before, especially since it was like lots of research to do. Another special guest that was in it this video of the Pool Bit Boy reports was Noel Comics, an international channel for life. It was an extra clip that I want to share with you all from my Q&A special with them. Also, since they are a big fan of Daisuke Asakura, I included their vote for the team of AVIX of third place, which made 30%. Lastly is my third to last Japanese report of sweet 
that came right after my Pulpit Boy report. And starting, it was even to start off the New Year's of 2023, too. This was around the time I had my very last class of recording arts and was working on SDP, which is coming up really soon. For the 21st report, you see me with a box of sweets. And this was even for my fifth Q&A special with Rib and Malik for my 27th episode of my podcast channel. And we were watching the report of my report of sweets, too. Lastly, I put Globe on the list since they are very popular with AVIX. With Komuo Tetsiar produces most of the AVIX artists and groups, of course, except for the three artists that we have for this list. Last thing on the list that we have that became in last place for 10% was the boy group. So let's start off with my 22nd report of SDP. Such of the Par was my second to last Japanese report before Whiteberry. This video has also became a tribute to Torgoy of De La Soul, along with Yuki Hiro and Ryuchi from Yellow Magic Orchestra. I remember at the time when I was making my SDP report was to mention De La Soul. And honestly, I'm very happy that I mentioned him, especially since Bose, the leader of SDP, has translated has said, if De La Soul didn't exist, there would not be a Sacha de Paul. Also really worth mentioning is that SDP is considered one of the first Japanese rappers from Japan since 1990. They're still going strong. This was a perfect time for me to not only make it into the hip hop 50th anniversary, especially just for that year, but also it was important to really put this as a perfect moment for Black History special as well. Also, big shout outs to Joshua Lindale Sr. for my third sponsor for that video too. So now we're going to move on to Run and Gun. And also, like usual, on May the 5th will be SDP Day. So my 14th report to start off of the New Year's of 2022. And this is also within the same year I got my friends Rib and Malik to celebrate their 21st anniversary with me too, where we had a chance to sing and dance their song a day before the celebration of the filming. And I'll be just, I'll explain it just a little bit. I was dancing and singing to shooting to my eyes. Rib was dancing to Twinkle Starlight while Malik was lip syncing to Mirai, the Sonic X soundtrack. However, since we got some time to kill, I'm not just going to explain it while showing you all the visuals like I usually do. I'm just going to let the moment explain for ourselves. So please enjoy our 21st anniversary tribute to Run and Gun. Yay! Shooting to my eyes, shooting to my eyes,
Okay. Right. Happy Fourth of July and twenty first anniversary <laughs> to Running Gun. Yeah. See ya. I hope you all enjoyed that. Originally, for the Q and A special I had with them, was they had a clip where they were explaining the Running Gun and Sweets report. Well, unfortunately, I lost the footage while editing. However, the Yuya, the leader of Running Gun, really liked my post, and it paid off. Another thing I want to share before we move into the Flame Report is during this time of the makings of mostly Running Gun and the Flinkle Report was I found the auto-translate button because there was a moment where I couldn't really find it a year before. So it meant I had to not only copy and paste the English language, but I had to copy and paste to translate all the languages. But since I found it once again, I just have to just, you know, copy and paste the English language. But I did have a little bit of fun of copying and pasting the other languages, even though it just took a little bit of time just to do it. But I got used to it right around the Puffy Report. Now we're moving on to our second last report, which is Flame, the 11th report. And this was the last video I did with the natural lighting that is presented within that video. This video was called the 63rd video because my mom was born in the year of 1963. And now we're going to get into the last report, which is Ya Ya Ya. And right in this video was released on Halloween. And also, this is where I use this ring light that I use today. So now that I've finished up the story reports and rank of the behind the scenes story, we now move on to our shout out. Show, uh, so our shout out don't just go to Downheart, but it also goes to Team Hello Project, Girl Group. Team Avix and boy groups. And now for our official shout, we have got Teddy Slump, Press Phone, the VTuber, Matt Canu, Pink Metalhead, Jack the Artisan, the homie Damien, Cephalon Kanon, Lahuan in it. Ekuna, Indigo Blues, Dot Cav, The American Anime Taku, Quality Culture, Amazing Lewis, and T2 Norway. So coming up next is another voting pro promo that is for my third channel that will be coming later into this channel. Of and of course just podcast stuff as well. And you know, like usual, everyone, see you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Magical love. It goes ring, 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 ring. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go. At the time of the making of my mini money report, originally I wanted to release that report in January the 17th, but Oh, wait. <laughs> like my two part six anniversary mix up video, I will be explaining the great details of these reports, but only for just the first and second place. Speaking of which, I'll be sharing the teams that was on this vote as well. So, 
like how oh. so in this next part we're going to go into team avix that has third place of 30 percent votes so here is their report here we go wait i was think that <laughs> However, since we got lots of time to kill, I'm not just going to explain to you with all these visuals. I'm actually going to let our moment explain for itself. So please enjoy our 25th act. Ah. However, I was sick from the making of my third reflex. Oh, wait. However, since we got some time to kill, I'm not just going to explain it while showing you the visuals like usual. I'm going to let the mo- Oh, no. Ah, come on. During this time is- Would not- uh, Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, happy- Oh, wait. I was explaining this part in Japanese as well. During this time, is wood way. Also, since they are big fans of Daisei Asakura, I've included them for that verse. Ah, oh, whoa. Since, also since they are big fan of Daisei Asakura, I've included their vote of AVIX to be 30%. So that was even how they even we got into the third play. Oh wait. Oh man. These videos was released the oh. Lastly, I put Glow on the list since they are very popular with AVIX and Kumuro TTR for most group ah wait. <laughs> These two videos were we Ow, oh, come on man. <laughs> for this inference for oh, oh. Yeah. For is during that time I couldn't I found the oh wait wait wait. Another thing I want to share with you all before we move into the frame report. This is around the time oh wait. <laughs> Also, this video was released on my mom's 58th birthday. At the same time, I had the six podcast episodes and my demo song, Spending the Night on Earth, which I played a little bit of a new sample a while ago. It was even called the 63rd video because my mom's birthday was, she was born in the year 1963. And it this next video is going to be where I use my ring light for these next reports. Now, oh wait, wait. <laughs> it was even called, oh. Hmm. Speaking of recent celebration, oh wait, hold on. Oh. Mmm, excuse me. I feel like I gotta do it again. 